Hey everybody, uh, doing another monthly update for my Simple Bank account. Uh, one of my commenters asked me uh, how to choose between expenses, um, more or less just how to apply expenses. Does it pay out of my personal account? Does it come out of the shared account? And then I said, you know what, that's a pretty good idea for my next video. I'm going to go into detail of how to use expenses, how to make them, whether it's your uh, your personal account or the shared account, and then I'm even going to throw in goals for shared goals or individual goals, uh, just to show you guys some real um, live activity um, on how we do this. So I'm going to jump into uh, the personal account stuff first. This is some easy stuff that everybody will get used to. So I'm just going to switch to my account here and we're going to go uh, currently to my goals which I just added this goal um, it's just a Christmas fund uh, it bleeds my account every couple of days so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this I'm going to create it live for you guys and show you how easy it is and then I'm just going to remember I've got about 150 bucks in here so we will manually put that money back into this digital envelope um, once we get this going. So let's go ahead and delete this out. There we go. So notice how my uh, available balance is now up to 550. Well that's because it had the 150 in there. So we are gonna go and uh, just add a goal here. We're not doing this protected goal, they're two different things. So this is just gonna be Xmas fund five hundred dollars next when do you need it by we change the calendar I usually start shopping the last week in November so that's gonna be our target date and then uh, as far as the funding goes uh, I would rather you can choose the uh, my payday so you can contribute once a week um, I actually we have two of them in here so I have to delete one some way somehow but I like to contribute every day uh, that way it just pulls three dollars uh, every day click on create see now currently it's gonna take five dollars a day because there's no money in it but because I already had 150 in there before um, if you're falling behind or if you have some extra money or you just want to complete it there's a, a quick button just to complete uh, the full amount which technically I could do but that would not leave me enough money for gas money and food and everything else for the week so we'll just go ahead and we will throw in the 150 uh, from my safe to spend balance transfer it's got hundred and fifty dollars there and then here uh, you'll see the safe to spend is back under 400 but my available is higher so that's how you do goals those are things that you're saving saving for that you want to buy I want a new TV for the bedroom it's uh, what is it the 43 inch TV it'll run me 300 bucks eventually I will add that to my goals but I just resubscribe to a video game it's a sixteen dollar a month um, fee so what I want to do is I want to create an expense for this that way I set aside money this can be a gym membership anything uh, that's monthly recurring um, for instance my wife has a Spotify account she has this set up um, as an expense as well that and the gym membership she has two little expenses that comes out of her account and every uh, every week that money comes out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an expense just for me and uh, we'll just call it gaming We'll click on next I believe it was 1598 um, and I just bought it today so the next bill should be we'll say next month um, let's pick the 20th and we can always change that um, and it's just uh, every every month on the 20th and we can go every payday 
So it's roughly four dollars. It'll do uh, four dollars the next probably two or three times, and then the last payday prior to it, it'll you know just change the cents and pennies. So let's uh, let's see here. So the twenty fifth. So the date we're gonna have that just a little bit earlier. So now what I want to do is kind of streamline this to automatically pull this amount every month. So what I'm gonna do is right now this is the coming up so this is preparing for next month's bill but what I need to do is I need to have this set to ready so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer I'm gonna change it to the ready account and then I'm gonna move the 1598 in the only reason why I'm doing this is just to show you guys everything and then you can permanently apply it so it automatically pays out of this little uh, bucket so you'll notice now gaming I have 1598 available and then next month's bill will um, the money will start slowly filling this up every week until it's full and then it would throw green uh, and look like it's here so you jump back to the activity feed and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this expense you just click it once highlights in uh, category I just changed this to random fund and what you do is you change the spend from and now you apply this to the gaming bucket and if you'll notice now my safe to spend went back up because it pulled that sixteen dollars out of the ready fund for the expenses so now that is gone and now you'll see it's changed green spent from gaming and then what you can do uh, is it will record what gets paid out of out of what um, but if I do go under the expense category we can say money out automatic spending categories what we want to do is just match this to the other account so that was called random fun I believe the uh, the category was so as long as I do this check that and click on save that will now automatically link the next time this expense comes in under this random fund category it will automatically spend out of the next month's uh, gaming category that's as simple as it is so now I never have to worry about being behind on my bill um, the money will be set aside every week and then spent once a month totally fine simple easy and that's just one obviously you would add as many as you need for your personal expenses um, but next we're gonna switch over uh, to the shared account here and uh, one of my commenters asked well how do you guys handle going out for dinner um, right now we're still uh, what are we up to or down to I should say we're still twenty six thousand dollars in debt um, right now going to restaurants is not a common occurrence for us uh, we'll just pretend that it is I'll fast forward in time a year um, we've got more than enough money saved everything is paid down and we wanna have our date night every Saturday um, let's say it's we'll say roughly sixty dollars a month I'm sorry sixty a month <laughs> we'd be eating at Wendy's um, sixty dollars uh, to go out to a nice restaurant in town um, let's say we go every Saturday we'll say roughly four days a month so that is not a goal um, this is a goal is like a one-time uh, purchase which will go into that shortly after this um, an expense is a reoccurring um, thing that you want to have available money for um, just like the grocery bill you want to have a certain amount of money set in there um, to treat yourself so let's go ahead and add that in so we're just gonna add this is and we're just gonna call it date night and we'll say roughly sixty dollars and we're gonna go out four times a month which again I cannot afford to do that right now but just for showman shake uh, sake we'll go ahead and do that 
so we'll throw 240 a month and then we need this by we'll just go one month out we'll say September 26th and then how often do we want it we would just say every month and then we'll just add it using my payday we'll go ahead and create expense and that's it so now when we go down um, obviously we're off track because there's no paydays before tomorrow when it wants this two hundred and forty dollars available um, so but what you'll do is um, same thing we just did with the other one is you go out to eat uh, so let's kinda jump back to um, let me see. Here's a, a, a Wawa. We'll just pretend that this was going out to eat at a restaurant. Once you have that uh, expense account set up, again, the only thing you'll do is you could do this right from your phone when you're in the restaurant. Um, they swipe your card, and what ends up happening um, is on the mobile app, it'll actually tell you, hey, if you want to leave a 20% tip, it'll be, you know, $10.23 whatever it comes out to it will actually show up on your app on the phone which is really convenient for those who are uh, uh, not too math savvy it does all the hard work for you so all you would do is just change the spend from category change that and right now it would be empty but you would just select date night and it would just change it but it says there's not enough money to cover it for now which is totally fine but in the future it would do that but we're just gonna put that back to safe to spend so it doesn't mess up anything in the future um, and it's that simple if you want to give yourself enough money to still go out and do some things every month um, that is the way that you want to do it um, you don't want to um, you don't want to totally hamstring yourself if you cut to the bone and you literally don't do anything it's extremely difficult to um, pay down your debt it's just not um, it's just not gonna work out that well um, you get too frustrated with not being able to do anything um, but that's how you do that um, another thing as uh, far as goals right now um, we actually um, we are now 13 weeks pregnant and um, the wife wants carpeting in the nursery I'm sure there's going to be paint and everything else that goes with it. So, so I'll need probably, we'll say a thousand dollars. We'll say for padding, carpeting, installation, um, all of this stuff. And we'll say I need it by. Uh, let's let's go by the end of November. Give myself some breathing room here. So what I, this is a lot of money. So what I I wouldn't want to contribute every day, a thousand dollars in three months. Uh, I like to keep this at two hundred dollars. So I just want to contribute um, with my pay schedule. And what it'll do, it's one hundred and forty-two dollars a month. It will um, do every payday. So we'll go ahead. We'll say create goal, and this will slowly start filling out. Uh, obviously we got six months left so if I can just set aside money over the next three months I'll have my thousand dollars and then I will have whoever come in install the carpet and then I'll be painting the room myself um, but any expense related to that I can pull right out of this bucket and for argument's sake let's say it only cost me eight hundred dollars whatever this uh, money is extra all you do is delete the goal uh, when you're done and any extra money is just going to throw right back into your safe to spend fund so it's pretty simple but it keeps you honest and it's not just one big expense all at once you can break it up into small little payments um, and this is kind of the reverse of the way society has trained everybody um, you know prior to being with simple and buckling down on everything what would you do you would go to Lowe's Home Depot you would open up a store credit card and then you would just order that carpet have it installed in the paint 
and then you'd be paying yeah they would probably say minimum payments it's twenty dollars a month don't worry about it and then next thing you know you're paying twenty to thirty percent interest on this by making minimum payments and now that carpet by the time you pay it off has just cost you twice as much so I like to say you know what I'm gonna start saving up for this this hundred forty dollars a month buy the carpet with cash and be done so I'm actually gonna leave this one in here and kinda of follow this along the next couple months so when you check back in you'll actually see my progress with this um, we might move the timetable up I don't know she's probably gonna make me paint the room two or three times but uh, that's what I get to deal with so uh, that kinda concludes this portion of the video I'm gonna go back to um, the way I normally run the videos for simple so if you're not interested in that go ahead and close out now if you wanna see how I've done uh, with the rest of our uh, financial getting out of debt it looks like there's a bug with one of the things but um, so to start off first thing um, I had a couple bills change so your bills will not always stay the same some go down some go up if you look right here uh, every month the minimum payment drops about a dollar drop the dollar drop two dollars um, but these bills went up my cell phone bill taxes fees whatever just slightly changed and then I've got a uh, the electric bill I'm on this annual um, payment plan um, that just spiked as well as the gas was on a equal payment plan and they bumped it up basically to cover uh, whatever over expenditure will be and then next month it'll drop back down to you know whatever sixty dollar a month whatever they're gonna come out with it being uh, average so that uh, that'll be the bill for that and I got emailed those two notifications from the companies with the bills so you always want to you know not as much as this is set it and forget it there's still maintenance required um, so I always recommend at least I mean I do probably every week you can get away with every other week um, just managing and updating this stuff so nothing catches you off guard um, I still don't have my end of the month paycheck um, but we're still doing pretty good we were 4,000 in the green but guess what happened my uh, transmission in my tractor died that was $600 uh, going over speed bump too fast blew out my rear suspension in my car that cost me 200 bucks and the uh, bathroom renovation is almost done uh, so we actually paid up uh, probably 80 percent of the balance of this now we still owe a thousand dollars left on it um, but that'll be when everything is totally buttoned up and then if we go down over here I have my five credit cards with all my consolidated debt I just updated the figures there the uh, savings account is slowly growing back uh, I did pull a thousand dollars out of this number just because like I just mentioned I still owe that for the bathroom um, it's gonna be paid out in the next day normally these are things you want to track uh, if I go back to simple in a perfect world I would actually be um, creating a a one-time expense here for a thousand dollars throwing it here you could also use a goal since it is just a one-time expense it'd be a thousand dollars and then what I would do is I would just steal that money out of the protected goals balance but this is still earning me interest so I'd rather that thousand dollars just stay in there um, for another couple days maybe another week until I actually have to pay that money and when I have to this um, I just go in there and I'll move the thousand dollars out so um, that uh, will catch us up as far as the budget goes notice we're still stuck at this seven month number we started off uh, the beginning of the month Let's scroll over here at uh, 27,000 roughly 300 we're down to 25,900 so paid off about fourteen hundred dollars uh, I still have my uh, my paycheck coming in uh, the end of this week so that'll knock us down a little bit this might actually change to six but I won't know until we get there let's see next uh, occasionally you're gonna get errors with mint and I will show you that for example 
uh, the link to my Chase credit cards, uh, it's broken. So right now it's just not pulling a value. I wish it actually kept the previous values in there, um, but it doesn't. So I had to manually just sign into Chase. Um, it's not that often that something breaks like this, maybe once, twice a year, and then they're probably just doing server maintenance. It is the weekend, so it'll probably be back up and running by tomorrow. Um, anything else noteworthy? Um, I was able to sell out of, uh, have some lending club um, things. I figured out a way to just sell out and just pull all the cash from it. Um, it was up to about six, 700. I was able to just sell almost 500 of it. So I am almost done with that account. Um, mortgage, still the same. Uh, cars, pretty much the same. And this number is not factual. It's really 159 after I figure out those credit cards that are not currently on there. Uh, credit score, up a whopping point. Nothing crazy. Um, this might update in the next week. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but finally, it's just going to be going in the up direction. Uh, that is everything through Mint. And that, I believe, calls it the end of the episode. Um, if you're interested in seeing any other um, uh, expenses built out, how to link anything, any goals, uh, any recommendations that you would like for me to tell you how to use simple um, with certain categories of things, just like the, the one commenter was talking about the, um, the whatchamacallit, the, um, you know, my girlfriend and I, you know, we want to go out to restaurants. How do we program this in here um, those are all good things I'm I'm not perfect with it but it's at least I've gone through all of this over the past year and I can kind of let you guys know what we did how we did it and why we did it so that'll be it for this episode uh, if you like the episode please uh, give it a thumbs up subscribe share with your friends um, it really helps out the channel and with that I will see you guys next month for the next update